All right. And the energy that is coming in from November into December is the Empress. So creativity, uh, beauty, fertility. Uh, you know, the Empress is ruled by Venus, so it's all things beautiful to you. So also always remember that when the Empress shows up, and this is the energy that's coming in from November into December, so it's carrying on, uh, that what you find beautiful may not be what other people find beautiful. But it's um, with this card happening, Cancer, I really feel like it's that you have finally found your stride in your own uh, wants and needs and what you want to grow and what you want to carry through. And you now have the strength to actually carry it forward instead of always looking over and making sure everyone is okay, making sure everyone's needs are met, making sure life is beautiful for everyone else. Cancer, in December, I really get this sense that now you get to make, take that beauty in and give back to yourself. Okay, so then we have the Four of Wands reversed, Ace of Cups reversed, the Unconscious, and then Transformation reversed, Queen of Cups reversed, Eight of Swords reversed, Ten of Swords reversed, the Wheel of Fortune reversed, Six of Cups reversed, and the Seven of Cups. So that is a lot of reversals, and it kind of makes sense with the Mercury retrograde happening, and we also have Saturn coming into uh, Capricorn, so things are shifting really quickly. Now, with some readers, they say that if you get too many reversals, you, you shuffle and you start over. However, that's not my kind of reading. You take what we get, you know, and this is what has been given to us by the universe. So let's just break it down a little bit and see what's going on with you. Now, you do have some positive cards, and you have some positive cards happening in the reverse. So it's like some of these I'm really happy that they're, you know, that they're in the reversal. <laughs> so let's start with the center four here, okay? Because we have the ten of swords and that's actually reversed, okay? But for you that is so good because Cancer, a lot of times when we have this ten of swords come up and it's in the upright, it's not being able to let go, not being able to see how you're going to move on, how you're going to get out of a rut, how you're going to get out of a cycle that you have been, that has been depleting you, that has been um, taking from you. And, uh, and it's time for it to end. And it could definitely be a relationship because I have an Ace of Cups uh, reversed. So it could be somebody in your life you have to let go of. All right. But in this sense here, it's like, finally, finally you can. Okay. What I, what I see about it though, is that with the unconscious, and this is upright, it's going to take a lot of soul searching. It's going to take a lot to really muster up and to get through. But you have it all in there, and the unconscious is to remind you that your capacity is infinite, and that you have the capacity to get through anything, all right? And it's uh, finally, with the Eight of Swords reversed, it's like you can finally come out of your own prison. So this is such a bittersweet reading because with this Eight of Swords reverse, it's like finally getting out of your prison, but you've been so comfortable in that self-made prison and it's been, you know, like what you're used to. So to break free can feel really uncomfortable and at times challenging, but finally you get to breathe cancer. So in December, because of something that is happening, because of something you have to let go of, it could be somebody who you have to let go of. And I, I'm a Cancer, so I know I'm going through this, and this reading is, you know, really resonating in some regards personally, too. So uh, feel free to <laughs> call me Cancers or email me, and we can kind of commiserate together. Um, but the Four of Wands is um, in reverse, you know, it's, it's not celebrating. It's not feeling like a celebration. It actually can be feeling very forlorn, feeling um, in mourning in a way, because I see that this um, the transformation, the death card is in reverse. So it could be with this, this transformation card coming up in reverse is that there's something that you, you are letting go of, but you don't want to, okay? And so the Wheel of Fortune, it's turning. It's turning, it's turning, it's always turning. So when it's upright and when it's in reverse, it's really the same thing. 
Okay, because when something is on its high, it's going to go to its low. When it's on its low, it's going to go to its to the highest. So here, I feel like you are already at your low point, Cancer. You are already kind of in, for some Cancers, you're going to hit rock bottom. Probably the beginning of December, uh, up to maybe the, the 10th of December. And you you hit it, but then you start to rebound right away. And and. So they're also asking you not to focus on the past and like, oh, woe is me, remember this, remember that, you know, remember, and also um, not to focus on the negative aspects of your past. Like, this is what happened to me in my youth, you know, I was abused when I was a child, I had all of these horrible things happen to me when I was young or when I was in high school or I was bullied, but not to focus on that. Not to focus on that because that is going to cloud your judgment. It's going to cloud what you decide to do with your future. And you're going to taint those choices because of the darkness that you're allowing to cloud who you are right now. So don't go into that, go into that past, um, you know, I can't be anymore because I've been through so much. And if that's where you are, Cancer, then you. I really suggest seeing a therapist. I really suggest going to see a shaman, seeing somebody you trust and who you can open up to and who can give you really amazing, solid advice to help you push through it. Because right now, that's what you're going to have to do. And there's a queen of cups in reverse. And so this could be another water sign or somebody who exhibits a water sign, somebody who could be... Um, loving, caring, or is supposed to be loving and caring, and they're not. And they aren't supporting you. And you want their support. You want their kindness. You want their love. And they're just not giving it to you this month. All right? And I, it's so, I know it's holiday season, and I love the holidays, but this time, really, it, it's going to, because of all this, the Empress shines. Okay, because of everything that is happening, your create creativity flows, your love flows, your energy flows, you are becoming fertile once more because you're you're planting those seeds in some some really fertile crap. Okay, the best manure you can get. All right, so all of the stuff that is just can feels like crap. <laughs> is fertile ground for your for your beauty and for what you need to grow into. Let's see, is there anything else I want to say? No, Cancer, that it's very clear. Uh, a lot of Cancers are going to have to let go of someone or something very dear to them. It's going to be a, a difficult transition, but as long as you take it in stride and you keep pushing forward and you keep going through it and do not stay stagnant and pull yourself, anchor yourself in the past, but push that rock back up and turn that fortune to the upright, you're going to be just fine, Cancer. You're going to be just fine. You're going to get through this. There is no card here that doesn't say you're gonna get you're not gonna get through this. If anything, it's saying, yeah, it's tough, but man cancer, when you get out of it on the other side, you'll finally get to breathe. 